It might only be a friendly, but it's just so refreshing to see England play well. I can't remember the last time where I've actually enjoyed England playing. And it wasn't even because we were winning. I would have been happy with a draw. 2-2, two, two. that would have been terrific, but we won it at the end against Germany, the world champions. And yes, their, their squad is in full uh, strength and usually they play a lot better in tournaments rather than friendly. So, you know, it's just it's just a nice little test and we've came through it. So, if we can perform like that, why don't we do this in the Euros? But I've just got this ominous feeling that Roy Hodgson's going to pick the veterans that we don't want to see play. Like, I'm a Man United fan. I love Wayne Rooney. I really do. But I think his time is over. He's beat the all-time record for England's goal scorer, so he'll forever go down as an England legend, even though he hasn't really done much in tournaments for England since 2004, where he got, uh, I think, was that his red card or the injury that he had? But anyway, honestly, he just needs to let the youth... Well, I suppose Vardy isn't really youth, but these players that are performing so well, like Kane, like Vardy, Sturridge should be third choice. Maybe even Welbeck ahead of Rooney at the minute, if Welbeck keeps going the way he has been for Arsenal. So yeah, I just generally think Rooney shouldn't play, and that's coming from a Man United fan. Other players that I don't want to see anywhere near the lineup, Lalana, Henderson, I'd much prefer to see players like Drinkwater, Barkley be given their chance. Uh, I quite like Sterling, so him in the in the squad would be fairly decent. But on to this game, because it's a review. Um, generally, I was so surprised. And as as you would expect, like I did expect England to get beat. And they did take the lead. And it was uh, a bit unlucky for England because Butland had picked up a knock. He wasn't concentrating. And Cruz took full advantage of it. And he slot well, slots it in. Now he smashes it in the bottom right hand, left, left hand corner. Yeah. And we go 1-0 down, unfortunately, but at the end of the day, it, it wasn't the, the be-all and end-all, because even before that, we actually looked fairly decent. We were creating opportunities. I think Welbeck had a chance. There was a couple of other half chances, and we just couldn't get into the game. And then it all went, looked as though it was going to be all over uh, in the second half. Gomez manages to get a goal to make it 2-0, and after that, you know, even though it's a friendly, you're just disappointed because we played fairly well. And you think, oh, Germany are just going to, you know, trounce us now. England are going to give up. But they didn't. And Harry Kane, with a with a great tribute to uh, Cruyff. Obviously, he unfortunately passed away early in the week. But it's a brilliant Cruyff, Cruyff. I can't even say his name. Cruyff turn. And he scores into the bottom left-hand corner. Sensational goal. And then Jamie Vardy is brought on. And this is unbelievable play. The ball's played down to Klein. He crosses it in and... What a flick from Jamie Vardy. That back heel, the confidence, you can just tell. And that's the first Leicester City player since Gary Lineker to score for England in 1985, I think, or something like that. England tweeted it out, and it's just crazy. Really, really nice to see. Um, and then we go one better, and Dyer manages to win it right at the end in the 91st minute absolutely unbelievable he's been playing so well so did uh Deli Ali he's been playing terrifically he missed a sitter though to make it 3-2 a few minutes before we actually did make it 3-2 I think it was a pullback by was it Kane or Vardy or I, I might have got that completely wrong but anyway it's a pullback and it's an open net and Ali uh, I, I felt so horrible for him because I thought he did deserve that and uh, he forced a good save out of Neuer prior to that and uh, he, all in all he, he reminded me a lot of Frank Lampard and I think he's got a bright future you look at Jamie Vardy uh, Deli Ali, you know, playing in League One for Deli Ali, playing in non-league football all the way through for Jamie Vardy it's just nice to see and these are the sorts of players that I want to see play in the Euros. I'm sure every England fan does because we probably won't win the competition, but at least give it a good go. And to see the players that have performed this season playing for England would just be so much better. Like, it gives me a lift. I just hate watching all these veterans playing uh, like Rooney, Lallana, all this, like when there's no creativity in the team and it's just dull, boring wins against shit opposition and yeah, it, it's just refreshing to see this and that, I want to see this for the Euros so I'll be a bit more hyped for it because I'm always going to be club over country, like I'd prefer Man United to win 
an FA Cup over England winning the Euros. It's just I I just prefer club football. That's just me. Other people, obviously, especially ones that don't support top teams, will obviously see this as a huge opportunity, and they love England, etc. That's fair enough. I still love England, but I'm just club over country. So because of that, it would be nice just to see some good football from England. I do enjoy it, and obviously, I want us to win. I'm still an Englishman, so you know. It's, it's just nice to see. And we've beat Germany. Absolutely amazing. The world champions, we beat them. Who cares if it's a friendly? Just please, Roy Hodgson, make the right decisions in the Euros. And let's see how far we can go.